Welcome back to another episode of Jacksonville Buzz's Legacy of Leaders. We have a very unique interview for you today with Corey F. Scott from the National Engineering League and Robert Deloach from the Factory 2.0. Got it right. Corey, Robert. All right. Got it right. Now, so here's, the, thanks for coming. So here, tell us the cool story. You guys are related, but you just found out, but yet you have the, you're the same person. Something like that. Walk us through it. That's a cool story. Probably about uh, six months ago, uh, I was already on the DNA DNA up 23 mm -hmm. I got a message from Katrina up in New Jersey. She said, hey, I think you might be related to us. It looks like you're uh, first cousins with some of my other cousins. And do you know your father? So I was like, kind of, but I don't. Psh, fell my fuck. Right? I get a call and it's like, Robin, do you know a young lady named Goldie? I said, no. Call my dad. And then when I told my dad, he said, oh, yeah, I, 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 I know this young lady, Goldie. Where I said, well, guess what? It is me. <laughs> and, 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 and so you guys are brothers. Right. And you met five, six months ago-ish. Right. And yet you do the same thing. So the top of the conversation is all things engineering. We got a couple different looks on the same thing, which is just phenomenal, inter interesting, just thing to consider in your time of how does that even work, right? Like, never met each other, both engineers. So- all right, Robert, Factory 2.0, talk to me about that. Factory 2.0, it came about for kids that basically don't play sports. So with partnering with my brother, Corey, we decided that we could come up with other avenues to give kids outlets that don't play sports. So whether it's engineering, whether it's music, whether it's dance, or whether it's theater, the Factory 2.0 would give them a platform to indulge in and get that creative spirit and, and give them something to do and make them feel like they're part of the community. So. It's my passion to always give back to the community and work with young people. So, Well, you know, and that's just fascinating. So let's kind of take that factory 2.0 into, so you're the younger one, <laughs> Robert 2.0, which is Corey. Right. Talk about the National Engineering League. Now, what is that? Our segue. So I was one of those kids that couldn't play sports because <laughs> one level let me. I understand. So like I told Caitlin, I had a 4.25 40 yard dash. We talk about the later. Well, anyway, I had to find something else, else to do. So it was math and science, so got scholarships and all that. And when I got my scholarship when I was a senior, my mom didn't want me to leave the area, so she wanted to sign the signature moon mm -hmm. at cassette. So I had to figure out what I had to do, right? Make a long story short, I graduated from Old Dominion University about five years later, and I took that that kind of painful point and turned it into passion mm -hmm. because I wanted other parents not to be able to uh, hold their kids back for opportunities they have and also guide the kids on what they can do to make it happen. So I set the National Engineering League up. I used to go around the schools and talk to the kids and ask them, hey man, what do you want to be? Somebody's got to design the wheels of the March Rover. Right. Now, right. If we, now here's the part that's really cool. I mm -hmm. mean, literally just offset, we were having a conversation with some of the producers. My mm -hmm. my son is a top ranked one pound battle bot driver. Mm -hmm. And there's an entire sport without a ball right. that I spent last weekend in Orlando. Right. Uh, he, you know, his team, right? four different bots and growing, right? They competed amongst other robots of different weight classes. Mm -hmm. Now there was, they had the ones that were the the math and science ones that were like, okay, well, the robot arms got to pick the ball up and put it in the basket, mm -hmm. which you can see a clear trajectory of that mm -hmm. on why that's a applicable in your world. Mm -hmm. And then of course the ones that just destroy each other also applicable, but in a little bit different form and fashion, right. seeing the engineering design and you know the way that they approach those problems. Mm -hmm. That's an entire sport for a, kids that, well, when our hair was more <laughs> here and less gray, mm -hmm. those type of sports didn't exist, yeah. right? And if you and, and, and there was no form, there was no forum for them to be able to do that. Right. Now, what's really cool is taking that to where you, as young men and women, that you're giving that uh, platform for, mm -hmm. are the workers of the next generation yeah. because manufacturing twenty years ago is not going to look anything like manufacturing yeah. in twenty years from now. So, talk about your game show. I lie, you know, I could go on for an hour. This is a really neat thing because, right, everybody thinks that, you know, we, you know, the, the sports it has to have a ball. Right. And it's amazing now, all the stuff that's out there. And you're also going to do a game show for people to be able to demonstrate this ability. Well, we're thinking, uh, we're making a sport out of engineering, all right? Because you already said it. The competition starts up here. Even if you play football or basketball. It always is up there. Oh, it's, it's a brain war, right? That's right. So, you know, kids are competing with everyone you know, in the world, you know, not just the United States, India, China, everything, right? The game show tech specs, right? So we're gonna have a product or a company sponsor each show each week. Right. It could be Apple one week, right? Okay, we'll get the technical specifications for Apple. We'll let the contestants study those and then it's gonna be like Jeopardy, right? We'll ask questions, uh, who's got the best camera? 
oh, what type of camera is on the iPhone, right? And the contestants are asked the question. Okay. So we want to put some fun into engineering. Uh, one thing you said also is that everything around is engineering. That's right. Someone had to think about this and design it to make sure it works. Well, you know, it is interesting because, you know, looking at the, the BattleBot thing, right? So my son was in a competition that was 18 and under, and it was in Daytona, and it was actually sponsored by an advanced manufacturing company in Daytona. And not that they're using it to recruit high school kids, but they're using it to evaluate the ability for them to have high-tech manufacturing. I mean, you know, Daytona's big space shuttle area. Sure. That is just such an amazing, unique design. Mm -hmm. Your story is so compelling, both in the fact that you're related, didn't know it, but you're yet in the same universe together, miles apart mm -hmm. and years apart. Two, you're both doing a unique platform for engineering, but then you're also developing it into something to make it fun. If people want to find out more about your stories, what's the best way to connect? Well, for, for me, it's at Rob underscore Deloach on Twitter. I'm on Facebook at Rob Deloach. And it's just where I hang out at. Yeah. On that platform. And for yourself? For me, it's www.natengweek.com. Not Engley. Right. Got it. So what we'll do is we'll make sure to hang all that stuff on our website, on iwantabuzz.com. Gentlemen, thanks for coming in and spending well, some time with us. Really cool, your story. Appreciate both it. Your stories, but then the stories that you're creating for the kids in the future. Amazing. Thank you, sir. Guys, thanks so much. Everybody, thanks so much for joining us on Legacy of Leaders. If you like us, share us. Remember, live with gratitude.